In this video, we will have a look at how topology can be used to fix specific layers or features. For example, we already set up a topology in a feature data set and we assigned two feature classes to take part in the topology or potentially take part in the topology. At present, only one of them is taking part in it, the zoning selection. So I'm going to, for example, now um, see what rules I have assigned. So this is just part of your properties. So for example, here, my zoning selection may not overlap because my zoning parcels should never overlap with each other. I can also have a look at the other rules. For example, they may not have gaps if you have um, urban or earth boundaries. Of course, you can't have empty spaces in a continuous surface of property area, so you would use that, must not have gaps. And you, for example, you can have all of these different types of rules. These can be, or these are described in the help files and the relevant GIS products, so you can re read up on them there. At present, I'm going to keep it as it is. I have not validated my topology yet, and this is what I'm going to do now. I'll go to my edit tab. At present it's set to no topology, it's disabled. I'm going to activate the geodatabase topology, open the error inspector, this will tell me what my errors are in my view, and I'm going to say validate. However, if I would like more topological rules to be enforced, it's always a good idea to add all the features that you want to take part in the topology to, um, to add them to the topology feature data sets and then add the appropriate rules to that. Once you have created the rules you can of course add the topology to your view and you'll see that the topology has been added. Now you would like to validate this so you go back to your edit tab, topology to your database and validate and it will throw up all the errors within your data set based on the rules that you have assigned. It will also filter these for you, so you can edit them one by one. As you can see, all the red areas are errors that you can now address. So if you zoom in on an area, you see that there is an issue here. And you can also filter based on the rules that you have created. For example, the road layer must not overlap with itself. There are no errors within this, so topologically that rule is correct. Must not have any pseudo nodes. We have two. If you click on it, you can preview it. You can also zoom to it. And then you can have a look at fixing these as well. So Let's have a look at the must not self intersect ones. Here we have no errors again. And the zoning parcels, we have a few. Just remember that this will go within the view. So as you zoom in and out, your view will update. All right, so going back to the must not overlap for the zoning parcels, you can again zoom to it. We have an interesting parcel here. You just want to switch off the roads because they're in the way at the moment. So there's an error here. It will tell you what the details are. Zoning 10515 and zoning parcel 18292 are currently overlapping. So there seems to be an error here. And now you can select a few rules. Not all topological errors are true errors, but in this case you've got two different zoning parcels. It's likely that the one is should be separate to the underlying one.
you can create a new feature where there one is, is one missing. You can merge the two into one, or you can remove the overlap by simply deleting one from the other. In this particular instance, it's probably good to, to create a feature because you can see these are two different types of zoning parcels. You can also query it. So here we have the one feature, the larger one. So at present, this is the information that's within it. And then we have, let's just move the pop out window there. And if you select the flying one, you'll see they are separate layers within it. So this one is has an area of 503. This one has a much larger area. And ID 6800325. And this is 6800206. So these are separate features. So fixing it would probably be to create a new feature. And you see it's been created there. And there you find another feature underlying it. Again, you can have a look at the details, you can query it, and again, it seems to be like we should have two features there, you can create another feature. And you continue through this by fixing the features. Now, we can also navigate to another view. For example, here, there seem to be some errors. If you zoom to the error, Details again, there are some overlap here, but over here it just seems to be that the outlines don't really overlie. So, what you can do there is you can simply merge the one into the other. So, this is the smaller one, and this is the larger one. You simply merge the overlap into the larger polygon, and the error is removed and it is removed from your interface. And you progressively go through the errors in this manner until you have fix them all, or you have excluded them as errors that aren't really any errors. For example, let's have a look at this error here. Let's say now that I find that this is not actually an error, I can mark it as an exception coming up here with an exclamation mark, and it will no longer be marked as an absolute error, but it still retains is retained within my topology um, error validator if I would like to perhaps fix it later on by saying clear exception, and then I can fix it by, for example, merging one into the other or simply removing the overlap and it is removed. And that is a quick rundown of how topology works in ArcPro.